हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज श्रुति श्रीवास्तव कंप्यूटर टीचर फ्रॉम माउंट लिट्रा जी स्कूल झांसी आई होप यू ऑल आर टेकिंग गुड केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड स्टडिंग वेल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द टॉपिक इंट्रोडक्शन टू स्प्रेडशीट हियर इन दिस पिक्चर सर्टेन मैथमेटिकल फंक्शंस आर गिवन व्हिच आर कॉमन इन लिब्रे ऑफिस एंड इन एमएस एक्सेल सो द first one which i encircle is to insert a function then a second one is to find the sum then a third one this symbol equal it it is looking like an equal sign it is used to enter a function then the next sum symbol is of percentage and the last one is to draw a chart now let's understand how to calculate the sum so for calculating the sum we need to apply formula and the formula will be inserted in the formula bar and always keep in mind that all the formulas will begin with c equal sign so it will also begin with equal then you will write sum as we are calculating sum sum will be written in capital letters after that open a small bracket then write the cell number from where you need to begin the calculation suppose here the marks are beginning with 67 which is cell number b3 and the marks are ending at social studies and the cell number is b8 that is 69 so it will going to calculate all the marks from b3 to b8 between you will going to put a sign of ratio here the sign of ratio will act as addition symbol so it will going to add all the numbers and give the total in the desired cell now let's understand how to calculate percentage so as you all know for calculating percentage again a formula is needed and it will also begin with an equal sign and usually how we used to calculate percentage we used to calculate percentage by total marks obtained divided by total number of marks multiplied by 100 so this is how in the same way you're going to put the formula and the multiply sign will going to be like star or asterisk then in the next picture here we'll going to see that we can insert various types of 2d column or 3d column like 2d stands for two dimensional column which will look like it will going to show two sides of the bar and 3d column will going to show three sides of the bar that is three dimensional column so as we discussed according to the marks given the bar graph will be made as you can see the student has scored very less marks in hindi so the bar is low in the subject hindi now the graphs can be formatted in the various form like we can change the color of different bars of the graph then we can also add labels of x axis and y axis and we can also add title of the chart or the graph then according to the marks given we can also make line graph as it is shown in the picture and if some columns or rows are missing then you can insert n number of rows or columns in the libreoffice table or you can delete if some unwanted columns or rows are inserted by mistake now for calculating the average again the formula will be inserted in the formula bar and it will also begin with an equal sign so here for calculating an average for english so here first term marks are given 65 second term is 75 and third term is 80 so as you all know the formula for calculating average is sum of observations upon number of observations so here also they have done 
65 plus 75 plus 80 that is that are the marks of English and as there are the three terms so they have divided it by three. So this formula they have inserted in the formula bar. So in this way they are going to get an average for the subject English and likewise for the other subjects also. So I am going to conclude my video with the information that Information can be represented in multiple ways. Some examples of multiple representations are lists, tables and graphic organizers. And we must choose a form of representation that provides a quick and clear understanding of the information. I hope you all have understood this much. Thank you for watching.